My name's Kat. Um, I am a tattoo artist out here in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. I was dating somebody who was um, sober. They were in recovery um, from a heroin addiction. You know, he was a normal person who just got stuck, you know, with um, unfortunately doing prescription opiates, which um, I think most of us know that they are extremely addictive and one thing leads to another and he ended up injecting heroin and becoming a pretty intense IV heroin drug user. But I mean, he wasn't a bad person. As a lot of addicts, they were a chronic relapser. I was going to therapy and my therapist, who also has like a history in addiction counseling, actually was the one who recommended that I Big note, learn how to use Narcan and have it on me, not only for my peace of mind, but for, um, you know, it can save their life and completely counteract um, an OD. So um, I did, um, it's super easy to use. Uh, they did have another OD and um, that's when I used it. I used the nasal one. Once the paramedics got there, they did end up using an injection one. Um, he, so I was um, working in Denver actually, and he came to visit me. Um, I actually didn't get any response from his text messages or calls, so I figured something was wrong. So I went to go check on him in the hotel room. Um, he'd locked himself in there, so I had to get a, uh, a maintenance man to come and um, unlock like the deadbolt. Um, which was actually really nice. He was there because he is significantly larger than me and he was on his stomach OD'd. Um, so by the time when I was able to roll, I needed help to roll him over to administer the Narcan and then hold him on his side until paramedics got there. I was much more composed than I realized. Obviously I was extremely upset, but I think a part of your, like, your brain just like, takes out some of that like nervous system and emotions because the maintenance guy was freaking out and was and I was like no 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 I need your help I need you to help me do this I need you to help me get him on his back which he did um and then I knew what to do from there I had it and um unfortunately he had aspirated a lot from the OD so he wasn't um his breathing was really compromised um so I don't know how well the nasal spray did work um but at least you know it did um he became a little more um like not responsive but he wasn't um completely out anymore once I used the Narcan um which did bring, you know, me peace of mind, of course, until the paramedics did come, which they then did an injection, I believe, into his shin of Narcan. And he actually was doing really, really well after that. Um, it was up until um, he got in the ER that um, his organs started to fail. Um, but he was able to, with that Narcan, he was able to give me complete medical, like, consent um, and, like, have the, like, wherewithal to be, like, that's my girlfriend. I gave her consent to make my medical decisions before he went completely uh, into organ failure.